Snowboarding and skiing has been around for many centuries and has become a thrilling and rewarding recreational activity that many people participate in today. Skiing was originally a practical way of transport in snow areas. This changed in 1860 when skiing became a way to exercise and competitions were introduced. The snowboard, on the other hand, was first built in 1929 by Jack Burkett. Before then, boys would tie plywood or wooden planks from barrels to their feet to create the feeling of surfing on the snow. As time has gone by, skiing and snowboarding have become extremely popular with people like Sean White and Tom Wallish testing the limits of skiers and snowboarders. With these two sports being quite similar, yet unique in their own right, it creates an ongoing debate of which is better. To explore this, we asked the local skiers and snowboarders who just arrived back from an intense four-day ski trip. Skiing's been a big part of my life ever since my dad introduced me to the sport in 2006. My first time on the slopes was at Ben Lomond. I'd be lying if I said that I loved it. It took a few good hours for me to pick it up, but by the end of the day I was racing down the green runs, having fun, weaving in and out of rocks and ruts. Since then, I've been in the snow every season to get my fix. Skiing is one of those sports that just about anyone can try at one stage in their life, no matter what age they are, and still have fun. When you ski, it's like a cross between rollerblading and bike riding. But it's not just all about the skiing. The panoramic snow-covered landscapes of the mountains is truly something to behold. There's nothing like arriving at the top of a lift and just taking a step back to admire the world. Snowboarding is great because not only is it fun, it's good for exercise. It helps with your core muscles, your leg muscles, and it just helps have a good time, especially when you're doing it with friends. You can make great videos and you can also make great friends while you're doing it. When conversation comes up about snowboarders and skiers and which is cooler, or faster, or just plain better, heads do tend to clash. Whilst they're both designed for the same purpose, people argue about them like holding them forward. As a skier, my opinion is that one is not superior to the other. They both have their pros and cons, and neither are perfect in every single aspect. But being unique to each other is what makes them unique and makes being on the slopes interesting and fun. Skiers, I feel, could be a bit arrogant towards snowboarders in that they're not very accommodating and appreciative of snowboarders, like as in their way is the best way, the right way of doing things, but they seem like very good people when it comes down to it. <laughs> 